Alright guys, let's get all these balloons in here and we'll just take them out with the balloon parade. Yeah, get it. Alright, go get it. Yeah! Where'd they go? Welcome back to another Mercs Rising War Recap video. I'm going to get in here and we got some really good replays, but before we do, I want to show you guys this. I just think this is pretty outstanding. I mean, if you go through and look at our history here, Mercs Rising is just absolutely killing it. All the way from our very first attack 105 days ago, lots and lots of green on this board. So congratulations, Mercs Rising. Proud of you guys. Keep up the good work there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this last war against Warion Clan. Alright, so here we go. We're going to get in and I'm going to get down here and show you their, our attack against... Well, actually, hold on a second. I forgot I can do this now. Yeah, I like it. Alright, so we're going to get in here and we're going to show you Miguel who got six stars this war for us. Awesome job, Miguel. And we're going to look at replay number two. Thank you Supercell, that is a, such an awesome feature, it's going to make doing these videos so much easier and less time consuming. Alright, so one of the things I wanted to show you about this video here is um, one of the ways that you can deal with the clan castle if you don't have a poison spell and it's bunching them up as best you can with a lightning spell. The tighter you get them, the more you're going to damage them all in one shot. Now I did happen to leave one little wizard, little Harry Potter left up there, but that's okay, he can deal with that one troop on the fly. All right, now one of the reasons I wanted to show you this one is because um, Meg here is a Town Hall 5 going up against a Town Hall 6. Yes, I know that this is still a rather low Town Hall 6, but still, it's Town Hall 6. He's got the defenses for a Town Hall 6 right now. So what's he going to do? He's going to come in with a um, balloon parade of sorts, some of his own, but also um, the Clan Castle max level balloons here. Objective number one is to get and take out the air defense. Well, unfortunately, it was really bad base design, so fortunately for us, it was really easy to take out. Now, the Wizard Tower needed to go down. That uh, air splash damage is just absolutely brutal. But check out these max balloons as they tramp their way through the base. They're going to get shot constantly throughout the entire attack. But because he's got three of them to bring in, they are uh, just so strong and powerful that they can break through an attack of, you know, one archer tower shooting at it. Now, however, if they run into two archer towers shooting one balloon at the same time, yeah, they're going to go down twice as fast. And especially if they hit a wizard tower, there could be a lot of problems there. However, because of the way this base was laid out and he did a great job uh, of pathing his balloons clockwise around the base. Miguel was able to easily get in here with his balloons, take it out for an awesome three stars with your Clan Castle balloons. The troops that you bring with it are just there to support and make sure that your balloons stay up as long as possible. You could use your giants as uh, distraction and tanks for your um, Clan Castle balloons, but that's a really great example of how a five can take out a Town Hall six. All right, this next one is going to be kind of cool to show you guys. We got two attacks on the same base. And the first one I want to show you is uh, Jaws coming in here doing his second attack on number four. And he's going to come in with a very straightforward dragon bolt attack. Three lightning bolts, ten dragons, and I believe Clan Castle Balloons or Clan Castle Dragon, I don't remember which. But obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to take care of the deepest air defense, the uh, one that you can't get to the easiest. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start to create a funnel and he's going to come in here on the south side. I kind of wish this funnel was a little bit wider, but uh, nonetheless this worked out really well because uh, the dragons are going to move a lot two dragons around the outside everything else is just going to focus straight into the core and we've got a little bit of a division here see that gap between the cannon and that wall where that tesla popped up that's going to be a huge gap right there and it's going to allow the dragons to stay focused in towards the core the dragons were able to move in without a problem and take out the air defenses pretty quickly because of his attack angle. So very, very nice job with this. Brought the uh, Max Dragon in the Clan Castle. Good job, Jaws. 
And from here on out, it's just a matter of letting the dragons do their thing. There's only a couple of air targeting defenses. Wizard Towers are no match for uh, level 2 dragons coming at them, especially as a pack. And they'll just march their way around the base and take it out. So that's one way that you can very easily take out this kind of a base here at Town Hall 7. Especially with the third air defense, you really got to be conscious of what angle you're coming in from. No longer is just not drop the dragons and congratulations, you got a 3 star. Now, this, the next person is Big Daddy Rack here doing his first attack against that same base, but he decided to come at it using Hogan, Hogs and Dragons. And this is a very true Hogan style attack. Now, the one thing you have to do first is you have to see if there's a Clan Castle. In this case, there wasn't, so that's why, um, that's why he brought the 23 five archers in here so that way if there was a clan castle he could deal with it he is doing a hog attack and you have to deal with the clan castle before doing any type of hog attack all right so send in the hogs send in a couple of tests uh, before to make sure there weren't going to be any bombs over it and look at this the pathing of the hogs is beautiful they're going to stay in these heal spells as long as possible so what's the hogs job in a dragon style attack is right here they're to get into these air defenses and take them out well these hogs have done such an awesome job of making their way through the base good pathing always in the heal spells they were able to take out probably about 80 percent of the defensive buildings in this base and then here come the dragons from the opposite side the only critique I might have here is start the dragons a little sooner let them take a little of the heat from the hogs so the hogs can maybe get another hit or two off another building so uh, but this ended up being a very successful way to take out this exact same kind of a base it was compact there weren't any spots for gi uh, giant bombs there were a couple spots for some spring traps however bringing that number of hogs definitely um, easy to overpower any number of spring traps that he did come across and boom we've got three stars so good job to jaws and bdr showing us two different ways to take out the same kind of base using two different styles of attacks all right this next attack i want to show you is my attack here against number what is that uh three is the one i did here uh let's go back here yeah, I went up against the number three. Now look, I'm a number nine, but I was smart. The first thing I did is I decided to go through and upgrade all of my offensive capabilities first, and now I'm working on defenses, going to the point five strategy on this. So even though I'm a Town Hall 7, I can still take out a low, mid-level Town Hall 8. Why? Because it's all about the way you path your dragons. Uh, we had a couple other people struggle a little bit on the spaces of Town Hall 7. And I'm going to tell you, it's not just drop your dragons and go. You've got to be very conscious of where they need to go, where they've been, so that way you know how to get them to where you need to go later. Alright, so the first thing we had to do is we had to take out these trash buildings on the side. Because if you ignore them, it was going to be... Um, all the extra time spent at the end of the attack trying to make your way back to clear up these extra buildings and especially with the extra 30 seconds gone out of your attack you need to not waste time on your attack by making extra things at the end of your your attack all right so we got that nice wide funnel and we want this to be as wide as possible in here why because we need every ounce of dragon to get into the core take out these three archer towers that were at the bottom and the two remaining air defenses those are the bulk of what the um, this base is made up of those three archer towers at the bottom and that tesla that just popped and those two air defenses if we can get in there and take those down quickly we should be in really good shape so here go the balloons balloons made their way in now the balloons are starting to tank a little bit for the dragons they've done their job taking out a couple defenses here or there now that the balloons have gone down, the dragons are on top of the air defenses. Boom, the air defenses go down. And this base is really pretty easy at this point. We've got uh, six or seven dragons and one balloon left up in the base. And it's going to be more than enough to take out two archer towers and one tesla. And at this point, we are on cleanup mode. The dragons will make their way. Beautiful spread throughout the base. They just kind of talk to each other and we're like, yeah, let's just spread out and make this easy on ourselves. So um, that's how you do it, folks. This is a Town Hall 7 going up against a Town Hall 8, taking it out. It's all about that funnel. It's all about taking your time and setting it up correctly. All right, so the last one I want to show you is by Blazy Sparks. Now, something we've been doing recently is we've been bringing in a Town Hall 9 just to make numbers uh, equal, so that way we're not always dropping down to 10. We're starting to push up to 15 or 20-man wars. So 
All right, so here we got Blazy Sparks coming in here and uh, doing a Govaho attack here at Town Hall 9. Uh, he did beat the, th uh, the one Town Hall 9 we went up against, but coming on to do a second attack, taking out this Town Hall 8. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, but there's something that's really awesome that I want to show you guys in his attack. Doing a great job of getting that nice wide funnel. It's all about pathing, and I can't wait to get that, this video out to you guys of how to do funneling for different styles of a troop. It's all the same concept. You can totally do it, but the funnel is essential in a ginger attack. All right, so taking out these trash buildings, working our way in towards the middle point. Got the jump spell down early. If you drop the troops and then a the jump spell, it's a ch there's a chance that your Valks will walk away because they've already targeted something else. All right, got the Rage spell down. They're starting to make their way through the core in here just to take out some of these high hit point structures. Now check this out right here. What are these Valks doing? They're beating on a wall. So one thing that's awesome that I really like is Blazy came in here with two heal spells. Okay, but didn't use a heal spell on these Valkyries. Why? Because this wall is just it's not a defensive building they're gonna sit there they're gonna beat on it for a while they've got three defenses um, targeting it so there was no reason to heal them really I mean they're just gonna beat on a wall and maybe take out another defense or two what can we save the heals for well in a Govaho style attack you need those heals for your hogs and here come the hogs because he's got two heal spells here these hogs are just gonna be able to pound their way through dropping the heals where needed um, and just making sure that these hogs stay up uh, throughout the entire rest of the raid. So was it bad that the Valks died early on in this um, attack or mid-range in the attack? No, because they did their job. They got in and took out several of the core defenses and allowed the uh, hogs to get in there and just do the rest of the damage. So excellent job, Blazy. Even though you may think that you didn't keep the Valks alive, that was okay. The heals definitely were needed for the hogs. So very good job there. Excellent job to the Mercs Rising. I'm very proud of you guys. If you would like to be a part of this awesome team, please go down and check us out. We are always looking for new Town Hall members from Town Hall 3 all the way up through Town Hall 8. If you are interested in joining the Mercs Legion family of clans, start here with us in Mercs Rising. We'll get you all trained up, squared away, so that way once you hit Town Hall 8 and you're ready to go, you'll be ready to join this awesome team called the Mercs Legion. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're passing it around to all your friends also note in the sidebar over here that we have our twitter page we've also got uh, our videos on youtube that you can join and check us out on the forums page all right so this is eureka havoc from mercs legion signing out reminding you guys to always clash without fear mm -hmm.